Hi, Shane here. Um, I'm just putting together this really quick informal video um, just in preparation for next week when I'm visiting uh, just to do an upgrade for LTrace. And what I want to do is take you through the um, the, the key changes to LTrace. So um, uh, either watch it yourself or show your staff. It's a quick preview. And all I'm going to do is, is cover the major changes from the old LTrace to the new LTrace. Okay, now um, straight away the um, the login screen's changed. Um, now uh, the big difference is for touch screens, and as I'm going through, you'll notice that there's a number of features that have been put in specifically for touch screens. Uh, so in this particular case, select who you are, and then we've got the buttons here. Yeah, um, you can still use a password like in text, uh, but if you want to use the touch screen, then you make your password a pin number. And you just enter your number um, or you can still just use a keyboard uh, and enter your um, number and then press login but I've also got a couple cheats just on the side here uh, so if you can't see your name in this list press all and you'll see all the users of the system um, and I've also got recent which is a really cool way of just if you're logging in and, in and out of the same computer just go to recent and you'll be the only person in that list uh, select yourself press login now, um, the um, uh, Ltrace has now got a switchboard, and so it shows all the various uh, stages within um, uh, the hospital, uh, and it's really just uh, reproducing the taskbar that was up the top. And these extra buttons have been added over time, over the last um, couple months. Uh, so uh, it's just give me a visual representation of, of what's happening uh, the big one though is configuration now has virtually everything that used to be up in the um, the configure menu um, is now on this screen and so groups um, or process equipment type whatever customers usage areas uh, you can see a lot of the frequently access sort of stuff is now a button here uh, loan sets uh, gets its own couple buttons here and I'll cover them uh, in a minute uh, and then reports there's a, a tab for report so there's a couple extra tabs um, and more buttons on it now here's the big change the um, the, the pack screen it's um, it's layout has changed significantly um, uh, and it will take a little bit of time for experienced users to um, to get used to it. Um, the big, big change is the fact that I've moved all the search capabilities onto a tab here. Um, so you can search by this. Um, if you're um, uh, for St. George using the trolleys, uh, you've got the wash trolleys here showing all the items that have been on, oh, sorry, the trolleys and the items. Um, and so this is now your search capability on this one tab, uh, washed, used, loan sets, and I'll talk about kiosk in a minute, um, and wash trolleys. And I've um, got some of the options up here, fast track, overtime, call out, um, and I've buried some of the options that aren't used that often um, down in here. And just be careful, I've got an inactive flag, so if you're searching for an item that's been deactivated, you won't find it, you'll have to turn that off. Uh, and if it's a master item, I've got this here to um, to hide it as well. So um, yeah, so so I'm doing a little bit there to um, to ensure that you only are finding items that you can print labels for. Uh, so the big one is that the search has moved from here to here, but the comments is there. So you're going to find that initially, I found when I was j jumping onto um, the new sites, I was doing my search up here, not doing the search down here. Uh, so that's just going to take. Uh, a couple of weeks for people to get used to um, and um, so that's the the big big change that I need to talk about on this screen um, uh, you're still going to have photos you're still going to have um, instruments here so that's not changed too much um, but uh, this has been the big big change that people will find slightly frustrating um, if you're on a small screen um, then you've got the ability to use this arrow to just hide all of this stuff. Uh, this makes the photos bigger, makes this count sheet bigger. Uh, so it just makes better use of the space that we have. And then you can show it again. Um, so a small trivial thing, but it does make life easier for some people. Uh, and 
The last thing I want to say is I'm currently working on this kiosk feature. Um, and so what it is, is if I click on that, I'm going to see a list of all the groups. Um, and in the end, I'm going to have it so that they're either going to be all appearing like this, um, or if they've got photos, I'm going to show you the photos. Uh, now, this one is my test system, so um, it's really not going to show you too much. Um, but I can get all the way down and find an item using the um, the kiosk feature. Uh, and that's going to be really handy for Steripill. Um, that's in primarily what I've, I've intended it for. Um, so kiosk feature, easy way, good for a touchscreen to try and find something. Okay, so uh, that's the create label. The uh, next screen that's changed, uh, sterilization screen uh, for St. George, it's pretty similar to uh, what you've got. Um, uh, whereas Timaru, further behind, it's, it's going to be a, a major change for you. Uh, so here's a list of all your trolleys. Um, here's the items that are on the trolley. Here's all the items that uh, have been packed but not sterilized and not put on a trolley. So, uh, so that's the basic layout. But now what happens is if I'm um, loading uh, this trolley, uh, Ascot Gatingi One, um, into a, I'll get rid of that, into a Sterilizer One, for example. I push the one, and now um, it's now locked into saying it's now um, been placed in that uh, sterilizer, and I can press Sterilizing now, and I won't be able to scan any more items onto that trolley. Um, so, yeah, that's. Um, just making it easier for it to be hopefully more obvious to what's going on. Um, but for whatever reason, if we decide not to turn that sterilizer on and we want to remove that trolley again, um, we just press the X and that's going to clear. That's cleared there. We can now scan more items back onto it, pop it back in the sterilizer, press one, and it shows that it's in there. At the end of the procedure, now what we do is we have a release button. Um, and basically what my goal was was to uh, strip away all the gumph that people weren't using. Um, and so um, so you come in here and it's saying it's this trolley, it's in this sterilizer. Uh, it's giving me a warning that I haven't actually um, uh, scanned anything onto that trolley, but normally it should say, you know, total 10 items or whatever. Um, if I click next, it'll tell me the next cycle number for that sterilizer. Um, and if I was to type in something, it would do a check and it's saying it's too high. Um, so I'll go back to two and then I press accept and release and that's it. Um, uh, if I wanted to print the report, I can turn that on and, and print the report. Um, but we've basically eliminated um, the need for coming into this screen, the um, um, and we're now just using um, that simplified screen. Uh, so that was our goal. Uh, we just wanted to make it as quick and as easy as possible for staff to release a load. Uh, so that's the um, the um, decontaminate. Oh, sorry, the sterilization screen and the decontamination screen is exactly the same. Um, the PDAs, I'll give you a demo off, that's changed hugely. Um, and so this transport functionality becomes a lot more important, um, being able to see what's on a particular trolley being moved about. Um, so you can select a trolley, see what's on it, the ability to load things on and off. Um, within Ltrace, it's not that critical. Most of it you'll do with the, uh, the PDA, and I'll give you that demo. And then last but not least, the surgery screen um, hasn't changed that much. Um, the main reason why I'm resisting always changing uh, the theater screens is because we're trying to leave that as consistent as possible. Um, and the changes that have happened are behind the scenes, so you're not going to see them anyway. Um, so I'm going to close that and move. Oh, no. So this is one change that has happened. Um, it's, uh, are you sure you want to close this for? Now it's going to give me a nag screen. 
uh, there's still items scanned into theatre and not assigned to a patient. Um, so I'm giving you a warning. If I was to try and quit L-Trace, I'd get that warning. Um, and then what I have to do is then repeat the process again and say, yes, I actually do want to close this form. Um, and so uh, that's how we're trying to stop items being left uh, scanned to a, a procedure but not actually assigned to a patient. Um, so minor change. Um, but makes life easier. Uh, the other big change is loan sets. Now, um, I am uh, introduced this concept at St George, so they've, um, they've half seen it. Um, but what I've really tried to do is uh, streamline the loan set process. So you uh, have this new button, which is Add Loan Set. Uh, it'll give you a list of all your loan set providers. Uh, so you select your loan set provider, and then uh, you've got this uh, relatively simple process you go through. Uh, so the first one is what's your quantity. So if I was to increase the quantity, you can see over here that we've now got four. If I was to type in part of the description here, um, then what's happened is immediately test, test, test has gone through there. So it's a quick and easy way of saying this is what it is, but I can still jump over here and give it some custom description. Fantastic. Um, and so now when I print the labels, each of those is going to be on a label. Uh, the only problem with that is that's a little bit of work. And so wouldn't it be really nice if I couldn't, could just go down here and uh, do a bit of a partial search on what I've previously received from this supplier. And so now what I can do is I can go uh, that line there um, is actually that one there and so let's use that and so that is going up there uh, I can go oh that one is really that one so let's just use that and that one was that one so let's just use that um, and so it's a quick and easy way of grabbing text that you've previously entered and reusing it um, and so that's that um, uh, Getting back on this side, we've now got supplier reference, um, who is the surgeon, um, uh, any comments, when's the surgery date, uh, how many times are you going to be using it, do you think, uh, when's it expected to be returned by. Keep in mind, all of this information can be printed on the labels. Um, so when you do the loan set, that's there. Um, and here, what do you want to do? Um, uh, was it unsterilized, so don't print labels um, for St. George? It's to be washed and print the label so that they can be scanned. Um, here's a new one, which is it's unsterilized, but I want you to pre-print the labels um, so that the st um, staff in the, um, the the pack area don't have to do it. Um, and that's the option that um, that Mercy Ask got to go in with. Um, and they've just asked for a couple extra pieces of information to be recorded as well. But basically, that's what you need to enter. Uh, and you hit Create. And now I'm off merrily printing four labels. Two, three, four. Um, uh, there's a report as well that's been printed, um, which will list those items. And, and that's it. But now I've got this loan set groups in. I'll just go here. This is showing me all the loan sets that are currently in the area. Here's the one that I've just done. Uh, let's view it. And if I was to click on the line sets, I can see. Did I click the right one? Um, interesting. Anyway, um, and I press return all. Um, and then what will happen is that um, uh, that item will now disappear from the, the list. And so uh, what it basically allows me to do is now quickly and easily add loan sets. More importantly, rather than returning loan sets individually, which we had to do uh, before, so we would have had to do all four of them, we now as a group say, let's return um, all of those. Um, and I'm just getting sidetracked in a demo, never a good idea. Um, 
So, um, so line set functionality has um, changed to try and once again just uh, make it simple. Um, and if I click on this one, uh, this is the traditional view that we used to have every single tray individually listed. Um, so now we can either do it uh, individually or as a group. Um, and so that just makes it a lot easier to manage. So uh, they're the key features, the key changes. Um, I'm just having a quick look. Um, there's a number of small ones which I'll talk about, but but that's really it. So there you go. Uh, 15 minute sneak peek of what's changed in L Trace, and um, and yeah, we'll roll those out next week for you. Uh, have a good whatever day you see this on. Catch you later. Bye.